Hi! Good evening sa ating lahat. So, nadalon manan, iti 3D tayo, tatanga week. At siya iti fasi. And so, before tayo start, uh, pray tayo pa eh. Yes, Father God, maraming salamat Panginoon sa um, gabing ito, Panginoon, ay niyo po muling binigay sa amin, Lord God. Hanggang Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, sa gabay mo, Panginoon, at sa patuloy mong pagmamahal, Panginoon, sa amin, Lord God. And Father God, um, um, we are asking for your forgiveness, Panginoon, sa mga nagawa naming mga kasalanan, Panginoon, through speaking, through our actions man, Panginoon, or through thinking man, Panginoon. Naway, Panginoon, um, patawarin niyo po kami, Panginoon. Ganun din po, Panginoon, sana mapatawad din po kami, Panginoon, sa mga may nagawa naming kasalanan, Panginoon, na mga kapatid namin, Lord God. And Father God, Salamat, Panginoon, sa unending love and grace po, Panginoon, sa amin, even if we don't deserve it, Panginoon. Sil, Panginoon, mahal na mahal mo kami, Panginoon. And sana, Panginoon, hindi namin ito take for um, granted, Panginoon. And now ay, mag- Panginoon, magawa din po namin ang part namin, Panginoon, lagi, Panginoon. Father God, for this moment, Lord, I am asking for your um, guidance, Panginoon, Uh, to open our hearts again, Panginoon, as we receive your words, Panginoon. Ito sa amat, Lord God. Uh, Pagulgan na kami, Panginoon. Iti wisdom mo, Panginoon, understanding, Father God. And Lord God, salamat po ni Panginoon. At naway, Panginoon, bigyan niyo po kami ng focus, Panginoon, sa oras na po ito, Lord God. At yun, Panginoon, binabalik ko po ang papulpas. Salamat, Panginoon. This, uh, this all I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, ayun nga. Um, um, today's 3D iti discuss ko kat, um, Jeremiah 4 but before that kat, um, let's take a quick recap for the previous chapter chapter 3 so chapter 3 Jeremiah 3 dito yung uh, di agarod um, yung backsliders di ba um, the uh, invitation and restoration nga ito tadlat ni Apo Diyos Israelites idi um di pa aga pugarod nga ang tayo mat iditi um kankat nga unfaithful um people um di ba God speaks to Jeremiah about backsliding Israel or um degarod nga adu ti mapaspasama nga idolatry kasagarod nga adu ti nagadud nag backslide and di jigarod Makita tayo, DJ continuous nga grace ni Apo Uray nga mamuoman ni Apo Diyos. Din nga uh, seal, um, he called, um, ay, um, tawagan na lata digi, unfaithful people idi, nga anak na lata. Diba? Uray ga po garot nga, diba? No, ikumpara tayo mati marriage, diba? No, nag, ato tinagkabit ka may isa, diba? Illegal di siya, you know? Um, Ano tagal? No ada nagkabit nga may isa, di ba? Han nga mabalinin nga no ada annulment ta ka siya. Tapos kat makisinoblianan man an ayatik wa han nga mabalin di jay. Pero um kini Apo Dios garod kat um adala ta iti panagayat na iti anak na nga uray anya man iti past mo, uray anya man iti naramid mo nga um disobedience garod kat still adala ta iti invitation kan restoration ni Apo Diyos if we listen unto Him. So, gano'n di, Jai. Proceed tayo matan. Ayan, T. Chapter 4. So, di ba? Chapter 4. Kat, no, nabasa yun. Dito, klata man. Di, part 1, kat, T.J. Repentance that bringeth restoration. So, ito ay verses 1 and 2. Basa ka If thou wilt return, O Israel, said the Lord, return unto me, and up. if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou, re- thou not remove, and thou shalt swear, the Lord liveth in the truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nations shall be blessed themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. So, the verse 1 and 2, 
um, pagpakita na dito yun, niya man iti blessing nga ma-receive iti tat tao no ag subli kan ag repent da kini Apo Diyos di ba kan um, di ba no kung na no ag subli ka kini Apo Diyos karot um, meaning you have to put away all the abominations kat di ba nagado abominations iti ka idi Israelites di ba Um, they have all pagan gods karon and handang agdangdang kini apo ka di jain order kanya handang agrepent kan agsubli kuna ni apo Dios you have to put all away first your abominations or your idols kasi kan agrepent kayo kanya kat adatit dalawa nga rewards nga maitod garot or blessings nga maitod ni Apo Diyos to a repentant and returning Israel. Kanan na. Imuna, they will not be moved pagkaroon da iti security. Diba? They are untouchable garo dun. Diba? And the second one, kunan naman, inti verses, nabanggat inti verse to the Lord, leave it. Uh, meaning, um, adati restoration. As nabanggit ko kanina, adati rest, rest, restored to real relationship. with God. So, the Egarod, if we, did, if we return unto God, we will not be captive to any evil doings. Baka sa mat, example, di ba, the Israelite city. So, Ajay, um, to give, let's proceed to 3 and 4. So, basa ok, for thus said the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, break up your fallow ground and sow not Among thorns, circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that more can quench it because of evil, of um the evil of your doings. Oh, di ba? Kananiti verse three, J break up your fallow, fallow ground. Anya ba ti fallow ground, di ba? Ti fallow ground gamit kat Diyay, nabayag ko mga datitaltalon or lupa nga nabayag nga han nga namulaan. Natangka na nun. Siyay, nabayag nga han nga na, na araro. Kasi, dito pa sa timbang ko nun nga place, nagtubo iti um, anyaman dito nga kay Kayun. Diba? Nagsamukan ka siyay. Kasi ito follow ground. So, kung na na toy, break off all your evil habits. Clear your heart of weeds. In preparation, iti seed of righteousness. Kad ditoy in order garod nga grow iti Christian life ti may sa tao. Um ni ba garod first, ni ba? Dumaot ka iti pamakawan kini Apo, iti cleansing siya. And iti guidance man nga agpabaru, ikatom amin nga bitterness, ikatom amin nga pride iti puso garod in order nga makita, maimakamula ka man iti seed of Righteousness, garot, di ba? Uh, so, garot, na di follow ground nga di ay, nung nag-start mo nga linisan, nung nag-start mo nga basaan, nga sibugan, lumot ng ajay. Kat, mabalin mo manin nga mulaan, tinukas takot, ag, ag tubo manin, di baro, nga, um, nyaman nga maimula, di ba? Kat, garot, um, in order po, mat nga agkaroon man nun iti renewal kaya nga follow ground mo iti self mo siya kat it needs some hard work ha? Um, it needs some hard work um, it needs some adyo man nun nga nagpagayd man nun kay siya um, so kuna naman circumcise your heart with the Lord mas nagarot kat Have always have faith in the Lord. Kat kas nagkaroon ka karon kaman ng iti purpose mo, iba. So ajay, so let's proceed mat to second part. Ati mat division ni Jeremiah into coming of judgment. Kat di ba di umuna ka ti blessings? Nyaman iti um, mayat nga result nan no ag subli ka kani Apo Dios dati mat magbagamat ni Jeremiah the vision na nakita na dunya man iti mangyari no adati judgment diba bakit mga ba nagkakaroon ng judgment diba idi gamin um 
mapaprophesy eh kasi ni Jeremiah na prophesy na na J pumasidog nga judgment kasi ada J nauman ni Apo just gaminan nga hindi ta tao gamin ko na na haan ko nga kagagawan day ta kasi lang ay han ko nga basol day ta nga kapeng the judgment basol yun day ta apay basol yun ti action gaya ta actions yun apay nga agkaroon iti destruction to So, ko na na, ni Jeremiah na prophesy na nga ada ti army nga aga po ayan ti North to destroy the Judah and Jerusalem. Kaya ti garo ni Jeremiah kat ada ti prophetic present na. Um, nakita na nga ada ti judgment nga mapan kan DJ talaga nga mapasama kan. DJ fulfillment, DJ nga judgment. So, ko na na, Jeremiah pictured God's people finally. repenting nakita na mo nga repent tigi jay tatao nga late it was too late to prevent that ter- terrible judgment so di garot di pa una ni Apo Diyos ada timapan nga army ada timapan nga army kapo tatno i-destroy na kayo ganyan kapo iti unfaithfulness yung kanya kapo iti Um, kagagawad nyo mat lang. Gamin handak nga din ang nagkasyay. And so, garod, and iti lesson na toy, at the invitation ni Apo Diyos, get break up your fellow ground and circumcise your heart and repent. Diyay, garod. And, and the verse 9 mat, ito yung mat, dijay, effect mat, jay, judgment. Yung bako na na, the verse 9. And it shall come to pass, said the Lord that the heart of the king shall perish and the heart of the princess and the priest shall be astonished hmm ako nabasa ng dikwan ni 5 to 8 basta di ay di ma- description na latan ni 5 to 8 so di description di judgment dati may verse 9 pero di effect of judgment gara na um The heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princess and the priest shall be astonished, and prophets shall wonder. So, tiba ada ti of official mat lang jay time nga di jay. Di, um, ko na nito yung nabanggit, the princess, the priest, and the prophets. Apa nga nag-wonder da? Gamin. When the terrible judgment judgment comes, even the nobility of Judah will lose their courage and hope. Na awan di courage dan gamin. Digito yung princess, princesses, priests, um, digito yung prophets. Handa mo aramidon na. <laughs> gamin, they are not also prepared. Oray garot di kayo nobility dakot. Di noble, um, di ba noble di kita. Um, sa garot nga, handa mo amung ti aramidon na. gamin handa mo't nga may samot nga handa nga <laughs> nagdangag din eh apo kadi verse 10 mat the joy the difficult nature mat iti judgment kuna na iti verse 10 and said I a Lord God surely thou hast greatly deceived these people and Jerusalem saying you shall have peace whereas the sword reaches the soul kut kalamat bagadamatan nga pinabasol damatan ni apo Diyos nga kuna na Dinisib mo iti tataom na na. Imbagam nga ada ti peace, you shall have peace. Hamba gayam. Kada gito nga nag-expect garod kuna na. Isu e, false prophets nang ibagagayam nga magkaroon ti peace after the judgment. Na So instead of peace, garod judgment would come to an unrepentant Israel causing the kingdom to die. Garod di ba? Ko na na inti Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 16 to 17. Nyako na nan Jeremiah wait lang. Jeremiah chapter 
chapter 23 verse 16 to 17 konana thus said the lord of hosts here cannot unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you they make you vain they speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the lord They say still unto me that despise me. The Lord has said, Ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his heart, No evil shall come up to you. So, Ajay Garud, na-deceive iso na itigay isuda. Okay, do mga false prophets na, kung nada, ye shall have come peace. Nga mahan magayang. Diba? Kaniya po Diyos lang ang makaitod iti peace if you have the unrepent, um, repentant heart. Salamat ka, DJ. Um, next one, Mat, na verses 11 to 12, it's the sobering announcement of coming judgment. 11 to 12, at the time shall it be said to those people in Jerusalem, a dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not a fan nor to cleanse, even a full wind those for from those places shall come unto me, now also will I give sentence against them. So, kung na na to, the Like a wind that destroys, and like a wind also would be as strong that it would not be like a fan cooling the people nor to cleanse like a gentle wind, it would destroy and bring judgment like wind so strong. So, di ba? Kasta kinapigisa na kinti effect nanto ngi coming judgment. Um, like a wind, erod nga naping sang a wind, strong wind that destroy. Kat in verse 13, mat, to mat the division of the coming judgment. It is the speed speed of instruments of the Lord's judgment indicates um, indicated that they would be unstoppable. They would succeed in conquering and plundering God's people. So, di ba? The prophecy ni Jeremiah is the fulfillment that ang judgment ng mga yari talaga ng malpas talaga aje nga mapasama. They would succeed in conquering and plundering God's people, de ba? Kasi nakaplano niya po just, de ba? Ita ng generation, um, aden to iti mapasanak mat nga judgment, de ba? Um, gamin, um, for those who um han nga nagrepent, isun to day jay, mapasanak to mat, de ba? And um, God's plans. Always succeed, de ba? Kita siya garod in habang adapti time, garod. Maging blessing tayo mat anti sa Bali. Tika kabusat tayo ng hampay na hamam mo kini Jesus Christ. So, jaya tayo n presidente chap um ti part three. This the appealing to the targeted for judgment. So the fourteen verses fourteen to eighteen. Nanatoy, O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? For a voice declare it from Dan, and publish it affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make it mention to the nations, Behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country, and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. As keep it. Of a field are they against her round about, because she hath been rebellious against me, said the Lord. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reaches unto thine heart. So that the je appeal and the Jerusalem, um, Judah had made show and of repentance. Kono na iti first and di ba? Three Jeremiah three verse ten, nga um um and yet for all his treacherous sister Judah had not turned into me with her whole heart but vainly said the Lord, na jj ngay penagrepent gamin iti Judah gamin kat pretends lang, pretends lang and there's a wickedness in their hearts of the people of Judah. Brought, jingi, iso nang trigger kini ng apu Jesus ngkaroan iti judgment tiba. Um iti um ko gamin iti Juda gamin kat tiba iti chapter three haan don imbis ko mga um nakita dadi um adadi advantage don ngay nga agrepent ko ma idi 
gamit DJ nangyari nga destruction anti um anti northern kingdom garod instead garod di ba nakita dan di ay instead garod nga agbago dan mas kimarumot inaramid nga idolatrous actions damot mas naging mm, naging mas naging re, nagrelay damot anti sarili dan so ajay it it's pretense only DJ repentance no pretense lang amin kat kas lang ay um nababaw lang no pretense um haan nga genuine DJ haan nga genuine DJ um action dan G um repentance da um so de garod the G wickedness it ito tao idi so tinag brought out the J judgment sa so, tinang trigger kini Jesus Christ so let's proceed mata nanti ay dapat they indulge their evil thoughts also and allow the la- they allowed them to lodge within their mind and there was a warning that it's Judah and Jerusalem's fault for the coming judgment not God so ganyan magkatatay it's their fault haan nga ni Apo diba? at arami dun lang ni Apo to punish for those who are ungrateful for those who are A disobedient and unfaithful people because of their wickedness and not God's unfaithfulness because we, as we all know that God is always faithful to us diba? we are um, we are um, we are to blame haan nga ni Apodus the wrong action style gamin He has always been faithful unto us. Itutod na amin iti kabaalan na. Iti part ni Apo Diyos. But, since iti sa Baligarod, ba, na iti disobedient heart tayo na duma. God, they say, um, adalat na iti panagbaot ni Apo Diyos. God, next one is verses 19 to 21. It's the anguish of soul on the part of those who, are, who face judgment. Nang 19 to 21, my bowels, my bowels, I am pain at my very heart. My heart make a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of the war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Um, it was not only gamin, an army. of material destruction with loss of land iti mapasama gamin di ba ako na na di ba na prophesy si Jeremiah ada ti mapan nga army for them to be destroyed garot and handlang aja it's also it talks about the affliction of true affliction of the soul garot di ba DJ kasano na ka ba nga i-destruct but the whole nga whole nga pagka taong di ba So, ayun, kat ko na namat, ayan ti, verse 22, nga, for my people is foolish, kung ni Apo Diyos, they have not known me, they are sottish sot- children, and they have none understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, But they are knowledgeable on doing evil things, instead of being knowledgeable mat di iti iti kini ab about kini apo jos di ba una na na diagnose ni apo jos ti juda god diagnosed their problem kuna na when he noted that juda was foolish especially mat iti knowledge about god gum god was generous enough to still call them my people. O, ba? Diba? Mahitam lahat tati siya panagayat ni Apo Diyos iti tatao na despite iti problem da. Basta, um, nag-generous na ta ni Apo Diyos to call them my people. O, they so, nakita da gamin eh, they so themselves sophisticated and wise karot. Wise, but in the eyes and in the ways of evil. So, ayun nga, if we are kasi nga example mo, tatikan nga tayo nga, if we are knowledgeable mo, iti work tayo, iti no, ay, ararami doon tayo, iti best tayo to do our task in our work, 
the school works, kasi school papers, the activities. Why not mat karon nga? We should take our time also din to be knowledgeable and not only knowledgeable karon di ba? May ipsa puso tayo dito yung um, sa sa ni Apo in order mat nga makita a result it the action through our actions karon. Maging wise tayo in the ways of the Lord. So, ajay, um, let's proceed matan 23 to 26. Um, nga, ditoy, ito yun jay prophetic insight. And Jeremiah considers also the might and power of God. So, the thing a judgment garod, it is the similar pictures to describe the day of the Lord. tonton mapasamak tipa so basak de gijay um, connected verses about dito ay in the second peter chapter 3 verse 12 to 15 um second peter chapter 3 verse 12 to 15 looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with the fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless on account that the Lord saw long suffering of our Lord is salvation even as of us our beloved Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him had written unto you Kestamat also it ye revelation chapter 21 verse 1 and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first were passed away and there were was no more sea and 60, Isaiah 65 verse 17 For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into the mind. And that is a promise ni Apo Diyos kanya tayo, na if we repent, if we truly repent, um, syempre, mamit tayo isunan to. Diba? Makita, makita ni Apo Diyos tayo, if we are genuine, we have this genuine heart. of returning unto Him. Sagar, if we are turning um, back away from our past, good ka sagarod nga. And we are a um, true worker of Christ and a true believer of Christ good we are going to meet Him someday in His time. Garod, um, nga, adati promise, the new heaven, all things are passed away, garod, di pa. So, garudi ag focus tayo di always focus on the heavenly things in the future to nga mapasama. Kat di garud, if we are um, in living our Christian life, kat magkaroon tayo di endurance ka, manag um, repentant heart, mag, manag repent ng heart. So, garud, God who could devastate the entire earth by His presence and fierce anger could easily bring judgment to them through an invading army. Kat isunto, the um, um, following um, chapters to, madiscuss today ito eh. Did you garod, gapo it anger, fierce anger ni Apo Diyos kat iso ti mang bring mat iti destruction, iti tataonan to. So, Ajay, verses 27 to 29. For thus said, had the Lord said, The whole land shall be de- desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For they shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and I will not repent, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee from the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into the thickets and climb up unto the rocks every city shall be forsaken and not a man dwell it therein kunana kadya desolation kunana kat would not be complete adan tumanan iti mapasama nga, nga judgment that is certainty and complete nature of judgment and God would not make a full end of the place of his people in that land Kat karo, datang nga judgment to nga mapasamak kat. Hindi tayo suffer, di ba? Hain lang nga digitan. Tao kundi, 
also his creation. Um, creation groans until the completion of God's plan, niba. Asa nga nagsakit lang mo't nga isipan, niba? Nga mairaman. Mairaman iti creation ni Apo Diyos. Gapu iti um, kagagawan iti tattao na groans ag suffer. Makuna na iti Ramans, it 20 and 28 to 20 to 22. Kuna na for the creature was not made subject to vanity, not willingly, but there by, but by reason of him who had subjected some in hope. Because the create the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. As verse 4, we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain together until now. So that the mapasama klata into the jay, um, judgment to manan, no mapasama the jay. So creation sympathize or jingi ma feel with is feel Israel's humiliation even as it would rejoice in her restoration. Diba? Adi, 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 harsh intention. Di relent, garot. Or harsh intention to. So, di jay, diba? Di jay creation to ti ag-suffer. Kat di jay garot, isumat iti plan no garot ni Apo Diyos. Kat, um, diba? So, di ay, and ti verses 30 to 31, the two last verses, says here, that um, when thou art spoiled what wilt thou do thou 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 clothest thyself with crimson thou thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold though thou rentest my face with painting in vain shalt thou make myself fair and the loves lovers will despise thee they will seek thy life for i have heard a voice of a woman and travail and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child and the voice of the daughter of zion that bewailed herself that spreadeth her hands and said who is me now for my soul is worried because of murderers this is the vanity of hoping but the appeal to the invading army of judgment and there was no way to decorate themselves enough to soften the judgment instead of outward de- decoration the true repentance laang iti only a hope diba? Jeremiah prophetically heard a woman crying in pain as the verses, verse 31 said nga rod crying in pain and fear as if she were giving birth the screaming came from the daughter of Zion Valley J Jerusalem or the um, Israel she was giving birth um, and, and it, it came from the daughter of Zion who in the misery of her judgment finally understood her condition so the jigarod kes nan to adati the j suffering to mang the j suffering nang na prophesy ni Jeremiah the j suffering to kita tao diba sila nga agan anak karod ka no iti inhalintod na iti woman nga agan anak screaming help um seeking out for help karon diba and si karod always this whole chapter karod talks about always repentance kan the true true heart tayo the true genuine heart tayo nagsublay kanya up ko diba um Oh, our repentance is always a process, Garod. It's an everyday process. Kadati, Garod, nga lesson, Garod, nga, in order manan nga ma-renew tayo, in order manan nga um, ag-grow tayo, um, umuna, syempre, palot na nga tayo, itipus-puso tayo, kadati pa. Amo tayo, matipapanan tayo, if ipapilit tayo, tikay kaya tayo, hindi apo Diyos. DJ, break up your fallow ground. Si Buga manan, palut nung no manan day ta nga, nga, nga area, ti, ti heart mo. Diba? Tat na yung kasta, ag, makatubo manan iti seed of righteousness ka, as na ibagak tatay. So, DJ, um, may we always um, remember, iti, iti kinasaya at ni Apo, there will always be a restoration and invitation kini Apo Diyos. Good. Ita, um, may we always do our best man as a Christian. As, um, ipart tayo nga mang, mang i, the ulo, iti kakabsat tayo. Nga hanpay nga nakamam mo, iti salvation, di ba? Good. Ijay, um, 
Sapay ko ma'am, kakabsat, kat adaman ng tinasursuro yu. Tatanga rapi ikan. Jajay, um, repentance. Always bring it restoration. So, hindi lang kakabsat, kat um, naway, mag-pray tayo garon. Iti um, personal prayer garon after this, before tayo nga uh, apan di GC. Garot na nyaman, iti take away tayo. At isay, di naman ang kakapisat, iti time you, nga agdengag, agdengag, pangin, um, um, tatangarabi. So, DJ, see you sa GC. Bye-bye!